Let's balance the redox reaction KOH plus Cl2, and this one is a bit tricky. The first thing we do with redox reactions, we write the oxidation numbers for each element. I've already done that. If you need help, there's a link at the end of this video to help you with oxidation numbers. Next, we can write the half reactions for the species of interest. Those are the ones whose oxidation numbers have changed. But if you note, the only thing that's changed, chlorine, it goes from zero to plus five here, and it goes from zero to plus one here. But the potassium, oxygen, and hydrogen, their oxidation numbers don't change. So this is a disproportionation reaction, and when we write the half reactions next, you'll see why. So we have Cl2, and that's going to this KClO3, and here we go from zero to plus five. So this number's increased, this is the oxidation reaction. We also have Cl2 going to KCl. Here we go from zero to negative one. Because of that, this is a smaller number here, this is the reduction half reaction. So we start out with Cl2 for both of these, but we have oxidation here and reduction. Let's shrink this down. So now we need to balance the atoms of interest. So let's see, we have two chlorines here and just one here. Let's put a two there. That balances the chlorines down here, two chlorines and only one here. Let's put a two. So the chlorine atoms, they're balanced, but we have a potassium atom here. What we can do is add KOH over here, and then let's put a two in front of it so we have two potassium atoms. So now we've balanced the atoms up here other than oxygen and hydrogen. Down here we can add KOH as well, because if you think about it, these are all the reactants, they're all together. These are the products, they're all together. So we have KOH in the reactants, that's fine. Again, let's put a two here. So we've balanced the atoms here. So now we're gonna balance the oxygen atoms by adding water molecules. Here I have two times three, that's six. Over here I only have two. So I need to add four water molecules. So now I have the same number of oxygen atoms on each side. Down here I have two oxygen, let's add two water molecules. Next up, we're gonna balance the hydrogen atoms by adding hydrogen ions. We're assuming this is an acidic medium, so we can add some hydrogen ions. They'll be present in the solution. Here I have four times two, that's eight, plus two times the one here, that's 10. So I need to add 10 hydrogen ions here. Over here I have two hydrogens, and then I have two times two is four. So I need to add two hydrogen ions over here. That balances the hydrogens. Finally, I'm gonna balance the charge by adding electrons. So if I have a 10 plus here, I need to add 10 electrons here. That balances the charge. Here, I need to add two electrons to balance the charge. So we've accomplished this third step here. Now we need to balance the overall reaction for charge for the number of electrons. Think of it this way. These right here, these are all the reactants. These are the products. In the reactants, I have two electrons. In the products, I have 10. So we've not balanced the charge. So here's how we fix that. I could multiply everything here by five, and that would keep the same ratio, that'd be okay. But now five times two, that's 10 electrons here in the reactants, I have 10 in the products, I've balanced the charge. So what I'll need to do is take the reactants, that's these right here, plus five times these, that's all the reactants, and the products here, and five times these, those are the products, I'll write it out, and then we can simplify. That looks like this. So this is our redox reaction. We have our reactants on the top, our products on the bottom. So to simplify, we see that we have four water molecules here and 10 here. So let's just get rid of these and change this to a six. Then we have chlorine here, Cl2 here, and five here. So let's get rid of this, change this to a six. Five plus one is six. We also have two KOH, 10 KOH. So let's combine those get rid of this here, and 10 plus 2, that's 12. And let's get rid of this. We also have 10 electrons, and then 10 electrons, 10 hydrogen ions, and 10 hydrogen ions. So we'll get rid of those as well. So this is the balanced redox reaction. One last thing we should do is probably reduce this down to the lowest whole number. So we have 12, 6, 2, 10, 6. Let's cut everything in half. So the ratio is the same, except this is just a little neater. 
This is a very complicated reaction to balance, but you can always check your work. So if we look at charge, everything here is neutral. Over here, everything's neutral. Charge is balanced, and the atoms, they're balanced too. If you count them up, they'll be the same on each side. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.